Today I'm back in downtown Springfield to speak with Dr. Peck and learn how long dental implants take to complete, what kind of things could hinder the success of that surgery, and how he's teaching other dentists to perfect his techniques. Dr. Peck, implant surgery is something we talked about a little bit in your last segment, but actually what people might not know is that you actually you travel the world teaching other dentists how to do this surgery, correct? Correct. Tell In us fact, a little bit about that. Recently, we just got back. Uh, you know, Dr. Lee comes here once a month and we do team surgery and mm -hmm. implant and periodontal surgery. And Dr. Lee and I just got back from Boston where we did live patient surgery in an auditorium in front of about 30, 40 dentists. And we did the sinus lift and we placed four implants. And it had never been done before and it went terrifically well. And people were really impressed at the ease of doing it because a lot of thought out there is that implant surgery is really difficult, dangerous, all those things. And just like anything else, mm -hmm. it is dangerous and difficult if you aren't well trained and if you don't do your checklist. You know, a lot of people judge things based on past history, right? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's take past history, root canals, Painful oh. or not painful? I haven't had one, but I have heard excruciatingly painful. Right. Today's technology, every root canal we do in our office, 99.9% .9 of the root canals are painless. The patient walks out saying, that was a root canal. How do you do one it? One visit. It's the technology. It's the ability to get them numb. It's all those things that go together. It's the tender, loving care that we give to patients, even though that sounds kind of corny. But it's all that's important. And a lot of patients come in being uh, hurt by other dentists, but it's more that they didn't trust them. And if they trusted them, they'd be more at ease and it would be an easier procedure for the dentist. Dr. Peck, bridges are something that pretty much everybody is really familiar with, at least the term, right. a bridge in your mouth. What is the difference between a bridge and an implant and what's a superior treatment? Great. So for years before implants came around, we always did bridges. Mm -hmm. Bridges are where you have a missing tooth, just okay. like a bridge over a water, and you've got to get from one bank to the other bank. Okay. So you put a bridge on, right? and it goes on the teeth, mm -hmm. but what do you have to do? What's the most important thing you have to do every day? Floss. Brush and floss. Now, how are you going to floss that when the bridge is connected? So you have to feed it through, just like you were a child with orthodontics, and do people love spending a little extra? I mean, people, we are inherently- I think it's hard enough to get people to floss regularly. Right. Never Lazy. mind making it difficult. Right. <laughs> and so it's more difficult. So look, now what we do is instead of doing a bridge, we do two implants. Okay. Crowns go on. What do you do? Floss, floss, you're done. Just Outta like here. a regular tooth. Just like a regular okay. tooth. Dr. Peck, a lot of these treatments that you're talking about might sound very expensive. Um, what is the difference in cost between what a bridge would cost and what an implant would cost? Great, great question. And I also want to hit the expensiveness part also, yeah. okay? So, if you do a bridge, basically, a, if, if I have to do a bridge to replace one tooth, they're basically the same price. And so, why would you want to cut down two good teeth to put in a replacement tooth? I wouldn't. I right. want to keep as many of my teeth as I as could. As possible. So in that scenario, without any bone loss or any infection or any destruction, they're pretty much the same. I'm here to tell everyone, even though dentistry can be expensive, it's the best investment you can ever make. It's the best place your teeth are, your money is spent. Because if you have a nice smile and nice teeth, how good do you feel inside? If you're interested in setting up a consultation with Dr. Peck for implant surgery, call him today, 413-233-4445, or go to his website, MyGreatSmile.com.